I'm Lisa Evers, and this is Street Soldiers. Fox 5 and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. It's the time of the year for giving back, and many are choosing to make this a meaningful holiday season. But some are taking it a step further, and by helping others, are transforming lives. Hip-hop has a big heart, and it's on display this season. Volunteers from Run It Up Recordings wrap toys and gifts they're donating to 200 special needs children in East New York. It's where hip-hop artist Fresher partners with Street Soldiers to make the holiday bright for children who may otherwise get nothing. I love people, and even more so I love kids because they're just so innocent. So just watching them smile and just their hearts warm, like, it makes me melt. Fox 5's own Audrey Puente makes giving back an annual family affair with her daughter Santana and their Layers of Love coat drive. At Hot 97, street soldiers Anaya Johnson and interns wrap toys donated by the Hip Hop Has Heart Foundation for 97 kids in a Bronx after school program. Another effort started with a Thanksgiving turkey giveaway by reformed Bloods and Crips and their family members, and it was a big success. If we come together, we could put, we could really actually get things done. We don't have to always have to come together as a violent situation. We could come together and make everything a positive situation. Frosty partnered with one of the original founders of the Bloods, Soul B. Along with his wife, Isha J, they're doing a Christmas toy and clothing drive with big plans to increase the peace and spread the love beyond the holidays. We always teach our kids and have taught them to give back. Don't always look to have your hand out, always wanting something. Be that person that gives and bless somebody else with something. I'm really focused on changing the mindsets of this next generation. Let's find out more about what's going on from our panel. Joining me is Fresher. He's a hip hop artist. He has his own label now called Packwoods Entertainment. He's also a reality TV personality. Fresher, great to have you with us. Great to have y'all. Thank you great so to much. Be here. Good to be here. Yeah, good to have you. Also with us is Sol B. He's the CEO of Black Mogul Inc. He's the president of B Mad, and he's also the co host with his partner, Isha J, of the Hustle and Love. Uh, podcast is growing very, very fast on YouTube, and he was formerly incarcerated. So it'll be great to have you with us. Wow. Thank All you so time. much. Yes. Oh, and also with us is K.O. So Frosty. He's a filmmaker and a reformed member. Frosty, great to have you with us. Great for having me. Thank you so much. Fresher, you play many roles. Yes. Uh, you're going to be playing a role in a, a top TV, <laughs> reality TV show, a little uh -huh. show called Love and Hip Hop New yes, York. Yes, But one of your big roles is Santa Claus. Yes. This is going to be our third year. Mm-hmm doing this with U.S. Santa Claus, helping some kids at a, a special yes. needs school in Brooklyn. What made you want to do that? And what made you, you know, decide that you wanted to do something for them? Uh, again, like I tell people time and time again, more than anything, I'm the biggest humanitarian. I love people, you feel me? Um, more, more than anything, I love kids even more, you know, because they're just so innocent. They don't know any better, you feel me? Um, and um, being, working in the school for five years, I've seen just the the bad and the ugly, you know? So um, I've seen kids come in with no coats, no have no toys, no shoes, rip shoes. I've seen it all, you know? And um, um, just, you know, working in a school in East New York, you know, that's why I worked at. Um, it was just, you know, like mortifying, horrifying. Like it was, and I, and I just always wanted to get back to the kids. Whatever I can and whenever I can, I do it, you know? So it's just beyond, it's not just a holiday thing for me. It's whenever I can, you know, time, effort, it, it, it don't cost anything, you know? So that's my take on it. And, and just to give back like that. So we, um, you and Frosty started this effort called Increase the Peace, Peace. Spread the and, Love uh, at Thanksgiving, which yes. our Fox 5 camera had the exclusive on. We did a story on that uh, for the Fox 5 News at 10. And your whole idea was to bring unity and to make a stand for the community. What was the thinking uh, behind that? Well, you know, you know, being though I was just released and, you know, I was in a momentum and just, you know, God brought me and him together. So we was just kicking it and I was like, yo, okay, we know we give back, but you know, Thanksgiving is a family event. You know, everybody be with their family, you know, so I said, yo, I said, yo, cuz, why we don't get together, man, do this BNC thing, man, and show brothers that we can come together for a common cause and purpose. So I just didn't want to do uh, a, a, a peace thing. I wanted to do a challenge mm -hmm. because where we're from, you know what I'm saying, you have B's and C's and, you know. And you mean Bloods and Crips bloods when and you say Crips, that yes, for people you who know, don't bloods know. Bloods and Crips. And, you and know, people are used to, uh, quite frankly, people are used to a lot of talk. 
that doesn't yes. result in he, everything. There's a lot of talk, and they don't see people doing stuff. Yes, because a lot of people who are affiliated, they become famous or whatever, and they don't give back. So me just coming out is like, yo, I met him through my daughter. We got together. And as you seen, you was there and seen from a grassroots perspective. We didn't have no police. We didn't have no known people, no politicians. We came out of our pockets, you know, from the from from a street level. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, no troubles either. Yeah, right? amongst each other. And, and Frosty, you understand it too, because as a filmmaker, and you also have this. You got the Gods of the City, uh, yeah, yeah. Gods of the City show on YouTube. The, the, the visual of that, like, we were there and we felt the love, so I didn't realize until after the piece aired yeah. and people actually saw Red and Blue, B and C, mm -hmm. in peace, with Dope. just total peace and love for the community and everybody cooperating, doing something positive. That was very, very powerful. Tell me tell me what your take on that was. Well, it was very powerful. I think it went um, kind of behind what we did because, like I explained to you before, um, I had a lot of people reach out to me that were, like, very hardcore gang members, and they were like, um, I wasn't ready. Like, they're like, I'm, we're not, I'm not, I may not be ready to do this now, but I like what you're doing, but when I'm ready, I'm going to come and holler at you. And that was something that meant a lot to me because those guys are guys I never ever even expected to even. I thought they were going to look at me like, oh, this guy is over. But they hit me up like, yo, bro, I respect it. When I'm there, I'm going to holler at you. It's like we're opening the lane for people that want to be there, but they might not be there mentally. Mm -hmm. And then and then tell me about what you, you, were, you were telling people. People were saying, oh, I don't have $500 to give or I don't have this. You were telling them something. Yeah, what I was telling them is basically how you don't have uh, $50. Like if all of us get $50, we don't need 500 from everybody. $50, $25, it all comes together. Because I feel like if you're going to go to the club, club charges about $400 for a bottle but you could do it every weekend. Right. How can you not give $50 to your community? We're gonna, we're, you gotta see us literally take the money and give it. It's not like you send it to a charity and you don't know what's going on. We're gonna take it, four days later, we're giving it right back. So it's like, I try to tell them like, forget the shoes, $500 shoes, buy four $50 shoes. If you like $500 shoes, buy four $50 shoes, take that 50 for the community. Right. That's what I try to tell them. And so. just use their power, use their their monetary power that way. Fresher, in terms of the hip hop community, there's mm -hmm. a, there's a lot there's a lot of people that give back. There's a lot of artists that oh, give yeah, back that really don't, you know, want the publicity for mm -hmm. it or anything like that. It what it seems to be a very hip hop thing. I'm sure country music does it and other genres yeah, of music definitely. do it too. But it's like there's a certain way of doing it in hip hop because a lot of the artists come from the most economically challenged yeah, communities. Definitely. What what about the kids like the kids in East New York that oh, no. that we we work with every year? Yeah, man, they just, it's man, poverty like stricken neighborhood, you know? So, like, um, what are they, like, some of the circumstances? Because you work with the yes, kids. Yes, I work with the kids. And your mother worked and there, I, too. Yes, and I, yes, my mom worked there, my own my family members, but also I grew up in East New York, you understand? So, I'm from Bama's East New York, rough part, you know what I'm saying? We get everything last. We the furthest from the city, so you know what happens. You go downtown, then you work your way into Brownsville, then it's East New York. So, we get everything last. And, um, and, uh, if, if I don't make a stand, I just, like, I'm a superhero in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? I, I go through the kids love me. One toy can change a kid's life. Like, one toy. And and that, you know, it it, it breaks my heart every time I, uh, I mean, it, it warms my heart at the same time just to see us be able to make a difference on a, with a child with one toy. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, and exactly. It's, that's, it's crazy. It's amazing, man. And, um, um. You know, I'm I'm just blessed to be a part of it every year. You know, I thank you. I'm so thankful for having you every year come and well, you show up you. and do what you do. Well, you started and, it. You, you know me. It. I just get my sand on. You know, like that <laughs> that moment makes me You're so proud. Easy. Those kids are like my 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 children. That's why right. I you know I have two kids and I and and when I'm watching the smile on these kids' faces in these schools. It, it warns it like this, like their mind. It's you know so yeah. It's there's, everything. No, there's nothing better. Yeah, nothing, nothing better. better at all. All right, uh, this is this is Street Soldiers. How they're turning hopelessness to hope with the holiday season giving back. That's coming up next. This increased the peace, spread love the Brooklyn way, like Big sure. said. So be the the people, because when you you okay, this is your first holiday season yes. in in a number of years, yes. being with your family yes. and being a free man. What made you decide that you wanted to take on this project with Frosty of really spreading the peace, you know, well, increasing the peace and spreading the love? Well, technically, which I have and I have to give, you know what I'm saying, props to my wife, Isha J. It was her, because we were talking about increase the peace, mm -hmm. but then Thanksgiving was up and she was, you know, we were just building, you know, in our mastermind group and she was like, babe, you know, how about, you know, y'all get together with a 
bam. And it just came together. And, you know, it just took a little, you know, me to get out there, like you said, when you came. It was like, Lisa says, nobody's here. Where's but I said to him, I go, I don't care if there's two turkeys and two people. I go, we're still doing the story because this is historic right here. And when I said, no, I got on the phone, cause I'm like, she sees people coming. I go, we're not leaving. Said, we're not leaving. No, and we made we made history. That was that and, was. And, and that was. Man. But Frosty, what what about that? Did you have any concern? Because you, you have a reputation. You know, you have a, a reputation. Mm -hmm. You have a you know a career as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. and also with the with the television. You know, with the uh, with Robert the show. City. Yeah, yeah, and with all that, and then also you know w in the in the BNC community, it's like, were you worried that people might look at this and go like, what the heck is he doing, or is this? Like any kind of backlash or anything? I mean, not really, because I feel like um, I guess when we were younger, we'd take risks for things that were less. So I guess like putting putting on risk for something positive should make a difference. That's like I said, I was just waiting for somebody to come like, oh, hey, what you doing? You looking soft or something? But they really took to it, and I feel like since we before we risked our freedom for nothing. So and our lives with whoever, our enemies, but now if we're, if I'm with my enemy and we're making a difference, if you're mad at that, then that's your problem. Like, I'm, I'm not worried about that. So it was really, so so you were just like this, we're, it feels like the time is right for yeah, this. Yeah, um, sometimes it just takes somebody to just make the step. Like, you know, once I made the step, like I said, people reacted, but if I never made the step, then you never know what's gonna be the reaction until you do. Right, And exactly. I just said, whatever. And I got responses from all over the country, mm -hmm. man, I mean, Guys want to work with me, uh, you know, like we, it was just so impact. I didn't realize the impact, Minnesota, Chicago, yo, could you think you can come out here? Yeah. Uh, LA, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about with, you know, pivotal guys was like, yo, that was like impacting, like, you know, because. Why do you, why do you think it had? Explain for people, because I was there, so I, I understand, but it's like, what made that so impactful? Because it, because it was like the most hard, what you would call the hardcore guys. Yes, that, I, I it wasn't one. It wasn't just some fringe guys. Yeah, it was like hardcore nah, it was leaders. Known known leaders, gang members and leaders. Mm -hmm. And I think the impacting part was, you know, how the community and you seen, you know, like the kids, the the homeowners. You you interviewed them and how it was just like. This is something they they probably didn't voice their opinion, but they wanted, and it was like a collective thing, you know what I'm saying? And brothers knew to bring their A game. It was no police out and nothing. Yeah, no, no, the vibe was so peaceful. And you know, it, it, that I think the impacting thing was just the children who were lined up waiting to get who. And like the lady said, she wouldn't have got a Thanksgiving for her daughter, so that was like a miracle to her. Right. Like, they giving out turkeys and then I right, she said that. Boy, yeah. Had a little homeboy knock on every door because yeah. we gonna give every one of these yeah. turkeys. <laughs> it was 160. <laughs> so, so, so Shakes was like, yo, big homie, I'm gonna go knock on every door. Tell them we have right. turkeys outside. We got, we, we got turkeys. And they stuffing. came out and people and they came, came out. They came out. And, and, that and, was, and the vibe was so cool. So it wasn't like they were coming out to accept charity. It was uh -huh. just like, hey, it's yeah. love. We're the community. Yes. We're here with you. And yeah. that was such, I mean, that was the first time I ever done anything like that in my community, in my life. And it was just like, just, I mean, I was just so energized. Solby, you, you say that you guys started the problems that you see yes. and that now you really want to be part of the solution. Explain yeah. that to us. Well, you know, when this, uh, you know, when New York, you know, came into this B and C thing, because, you know, technically B's and C's is from out west. Right. Mm -hmm. But when we started this thing, you know what I'm saying, in prison, we started for a specific purpose, as I explained, you know what I'm saying, in my for first For survival, yeah, basically. for survival, technically. So now we never realized the impact that it would have on the community. Mm -hmm. It spread out to the street. You feel me? Right. Then as time went on, Crips developed. Yeah. So now we got New York cripping and blooding. So I'm in jail, now mind you, I did 27 years. So I'm, I, I didn't realize the impact of something we started in would spread out until I got out. So now once out, I'm like, I was like undercover trying to readjust. I ended up going back in for another three and a half years. Mm. And I came out June of this year, 18th, with a whole new mission, a whole new purpose and after that turkey drive, my son, my sons, they were so like, 
because I haven't showed them anything other than being a dad, giving them, but not the positive. My nephews, my family, I mean, it People was People look at you in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. They go like you really did change. Yes, and it was redemptive. I mean, like, I mean, I literally was crying, like tears coming to my eyes was like, you know, it's impacting as I was when I was promoting. The negativity. And, yes, the negativity and, you know, just advocating it, educating about it. So now when I flipped, it was that the love. The is, love is was just phenomenal. You is, feel me? And, and that's the important thing. Frosty, the thing about the the, the blood the bloods and crips and the whole gang influence in New York that has troubled so many people is the age mm -hmm. of the of the members now. Mm -hmm. It's like you have people twelve, thirteen years old getting caught up in that lifestyle. Yeah, see that's the problem. There's is uh, I'm not I don't wanna say that you can't stop it. It's hard to stop a problem because the the recipe for disaster is always there, you know, in, in the neighborhood. The thing about it is the best thing we could do is help them. See, like it's like when I did the started directing, I basically started directing like that, basically off of helping the neighborhood because most of the people I have in my movie, like the Flatbush the movie, is everybody was a gay man from the from the neighborhood. And whether you be surprised or not, some guys took it for lightly and some guys really took it. So now I have two guys that were actually in my cast that ended up in Godfather, the series, and um, what's that, and Wu-Tang, the yeah. series. And they all started from me getting them in the film involved in the Gods of the series, rep series to Flatbush the movie. Okay. Just from that right there, they went and got their head shot and they took it serious. So you see, little by little, that's how we, we help. Like we come through like, you're doing nothing every day come let's film something right they took they felt because you know what it is too people like to get like a pat on their back sometimes like because people like i said there's no hope it's like the toys the some, hopelessness right some hope just because they're older doesn't mean they don't have they they're the same way too right sometimes people need a push like yo man you you could do something you right mean you can't do anything never too act late. before they know it they're like oh i could act and they'll take it serious and before you know it my boy i was like you're in the wu-tang series like yo man thanks man i'm right then he calls me back. I'm in the Godfather. I said, really? <laughs> He's like, yeah, man. Thank you. I'm gonna have you manage me once I get. I'm like, look at that. Look at look yeah. at that. And so, then and then the ones that are younger look yeah, at that, right? Yeah, and they go, oh, if that yeah. if he did that, I can I do can that do too. It. Is that the <coughs> idea? There was a, there was a situation where they were like, I remember you asked us, how come we still wear the colors, or how come we not? Totally. Well, people want to know that. Yeah. See, the yeah. thing about that is. Try try to send somebody that's not from the neighborhood to come talk to these kids. They're, they're gonna not gonna tell listen. them get the out of here. Yeah. Right. See, when they see us doing something, they're like, I actually know this guy. But Fresher, what what about this exam? What what about what they're saying? People don't understand. Like a lot of times, people join main gangs just for survival. You understand? Like I, I like if I I gotta survive, and it's easy for somebody on the outside to say, oh, you know, they're. They're this and they're that, but you can't judge. You don't know my life. You understand? Like right. I, I was one of the like, fortunate. I had the big family. I'm the one with the biggest family in the neighborhood. So we, we you yeah, know, a lot of so I, I had you. protection yeah, all yeah, day. Yeah, you know, right. but I can't imagine for the ones that grew up single mom. You gotta join something. You gotta be a part of something. Right. You know, and, and so I never really judged gang members. I, I just I just was fortunate enough to not have to go that route. But. I don't really judge too many people because I don't live their life, you know? No, just, exactly. At I mean, all. But, but when you see that, something good, you know, when you pray oh, yeah, see I something love, good, I, it I love what they're doing. Yeah, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, here, you see I'm here? Because I'm, I'm really intrigued by what you're doing. He's never been That's that quiet up. before, ever. Yeah, man, for no. real. <laughs> <laughs> just see yeah, if you're paying attention. Man. What about what about the um, what about the large the larger mesh, message? Because you're planning the you're planning the coat drive, you're planning the toy drive yes. for the kids, but this is all, this is not just a one-time thing for you no. guys. Oh, it's increased the peace, spread love sure. the Brooklyn way, like sure. Biggie said. Good luck to all of you with everything yeah. um, that you're doing. Santa, great to work with you again for the kids. Solby, thank you very much for being with us yes. on this episode. Anytime. Yes. Thank you. Anytime. And Frosty, thank you so much for being with us. Welcome, Lee. And we're wishing you a very, very happy holiday mm -hmm. season. If you can't give money, just give a little praise to the people who are doing it in the community because that goes a long way. Make them feel good. Make you feel good. And keep up the holiday spirit. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Push for peace. Down.